Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please do so to help the channel grow. Today, I am doing a basic process video of what happens when I am working down at Wolf Pottery. I also work at home, so the process is a little different in that environment. The first thing I do to start out the day is to see which of my pots from the day before are dry and ready to be cleaned up. We call this fettling or sometimes trimming, depending on the size of the pot and the wetness of the piece. These little pots just need the drainage hole to be cleaned up with my knife. Also, the edges need to be trimmed. Then I use a sanding block to make sure everything is nice and smooth to the touch. After they are cleaned up, I simply sign the pots with my fettling knife. Once they are signed, I stack them off to the side. Now it is time to clean the bats or the false bottoms. To do this, I use a scraper and scrape away all of the leftover dried clay. Once that is done, I put the dried clay in a bucket of water, which will soften the leftovers. And in the future, the clay will be reclaimed or made back into usable throwing clay. Now it is time to weigh out some clay on a scale and begin wedging. Wedging is a good way to homogenize the material to get it ready for the wheel. It looks similar to kneading bread, except in this case, you are extracting the air rather than adding air to the material. Finally, it is time to start throwing. First, I take a wooden bat and adhere it to the wheel head. Then, I use some wet clay to act as a glue when I throw the piece of clay onto the bat. First step is to center the clay. Making the clay completely center on the wheel is imperative to the process. Now it is time to make the drainage hole. I go straight down, all the way down to the bottom of the bat, lift my hand up a little bit, and pull the base out to create the bottom of the pot. Here, I am pushing in with both of my palms and bringing the clay in to get the clay ready for the first pull. Now it is time for the first pull. I am pushing out with my left hand and pushing in with my right hand, all while lifting up at the same time. Now it is time for the second pull. Usually it takes two or three pulls to get up to the height that I am looking for. This is my favorite part. I'm using a tool that I created called a potter's rib to push the clay against and lift at the same time to create a smooth exterior.
Now I'm using a cutaway tool for a rim design. I wet in the top of the pot and create a bead, then pull the rim out and clean up the cutaways. With the same tool, it is time to make a decorative base. I simply push against the pot with my interior hand, keeping everything steady. Then again, clean up the cutaways. Then, I simply use a sponge to clean up the outside and make sure everything is steady and even. The last thing to do is remove all of the water from the inside of the pot. If you do not do this step, the base will crack or disintegrate. Finally, I stamp my name and a number, which indicates the poundage of wet clay used to make the piece. In this case, six pounds. Then, I simply take the bat off the wheel head and put the pot aside to dry. Here's a couple shots of the pots after they have been fired. Thank you so much for watching everybody. We'll catch you in the next video.